Hello everyone, uh, I am Jushan and today I will cover my introductory experience with Intel. Everyone knows like Intel is the world's largest and biggest chip manufacturing industry and it is headquartered in California in Silicon Valley. It is an inventor of x86 series of the microprocessors. Intel ranked 46 in the Fortune 500 list of United States corporations by total revenue. So I will cover my questions uh, which I got interviewed uh, from Intel. Uh, firstly, I got my intimation uh, on call that I will be interviewed within half an hour, but somehow I got one hour for my preparation. After that, my interview started. Uh, she started with my introduction. I gave her my uh, brief introduction. Uh, I did not uh, overload my introduction. I just gave very much a brief introduction to her. After that, she came to the questions. Uh, she she asked me like, I hope I guess you will be interested in front end designing. I said yes, I am interested in front end designing as well. Uh, she asked me, what do you understand by front-end and back-end designing? I told her in front-end we have system, system specifications, uh, logic designing, RTL coding using array logs, system value, all those things I told her. In back-end designing we have verification, fabrication, packaging, of chip, etc. Okay, then she asked me, uh, what are the tools you have used uh, during your projects? I told her we have, I have used Cadence Virtuoso, G-Links and all those tools I have used. After that she came to the next question. She asked me, what is DRC and LVS check in Cadence Virtuoso? Uh, DRC is like design tool check and LVS uh, layout versus schematic we always do in the Cadence Virtuoso. So I told her. After that she asked me, what is VT rollover? When we increase the drain voltage very much high, again the uh, threshold voltage decreases, I explained this uh, answer to her. But, uh, the next question was, what are the multipliers we use in Cadence Virtue so during uh, schematic? I told her for multipliers uh, like we use M is equal to 2, 3, 4. So these are used to increase the width of the MOSFET. Those many MOSFETs are added in parallel to the single MOSFET. So this thing I explained to her. After that uh, she asked me, what is BGR? So BZR, this, uh, this one I did in, during my MTech project and it is a voltage reference circuit which is used in integrated circuits and it, it is a reference which is independent of uh, process variation, voltage supply and temperature. So the next question was what are the different parameters we really care during uh, making a layout. So in layout we really care about uh, minimum density errors and all those errors we need to eradicate. So I told her those things. And one more thing we, we need to make a, we try to make the area minimum as much as we can do. So all those things I covered with this answer. After that uh, she asked me why do we use different metal layers in layout. So different layers are used to avoid the short second of the wires. So all those things I told her. So the next question was uh, in ME1 and ME2 which has more resistivity. This question I didn't know, I told her like I don't really know about this. Uh, so she uh, jumped to the next question. Uh, she asked me what is common centroid. So common centroid is a technique which is used to make the uh, matching of the MOSFETs. Uh, basically we have mismatching with respect to the uh, threshold voltage and some internal parameters of MOSFET due to the doping and all those things. So I told her about this. Uh, then she asked me why saturation occurs. So we have pinching of the pinching of the channel length uh, due to the increase in uh, drain voltage. So I explained this thing to her. So the next question was today's technology, today's era is moving forward to which devices? So I explained her like uh, Intel is already working with FinFET 40 nanometer technology and we have SOIs, we have uh, carbon nanotube FETs. So I, I told her these uh, three four points with this question. After that she asked me what is latch-up. Uh, latch-up is a repeated question from STM. I explained her we have low impedance path between uh, rail to rail due to, due to uh, parasitics. So the next question was uh, how to avoid latch-up. Okay, we can avoid latch up by making, uh, adding oxides within uh, with the PMOS and NMOS. So by using oxide layers, we can avoid latch up. So the next question was, uh, what will be the drain current if the, if the device is in a linear reason and saturation reason? I gave her the two popular formulas uh, which, which are used uh, when the device is in linear and saturation reason. So the next question was, if, uh, if we have VGS just greater than uh, VTH, then in which reason the NMOS will be getting on? So uh, I told her like NMOS will be, will be getting into the saturation reason first. I explained her the reason, uh, you must be knowing this reason as well. So in this way I explained my uh, maximum number of questions to, uh, to her. 
and my interview just uh, ended uh, smoothly and it was a really good experience after 2 3 days uh, in midnight i got my result like yes we you have been selected so i was again very much happy with this uh, result uh, first of all i am very much grateful to the iit mandi uh, due to which i have gained these much opportunities and my deep gratitude to dr hitesh mali and dr sabindar sharma these have helped me a lot uh, to prepare myself and to prepare the interviews and to get the reference so i am very much grateful to these two people as well sooner i will update with you more questions of the more companies like qualcom uh, which i have experienced also i will tell you the interview tips that is how you can crack the interview because i have experienced two three interviews so Uh, I, I guess I can tell you the um, important point which I have written in my notebook. So you guys prepare for the interview as much as you can because this lockdown will not make you suffer. I hope uh, prepare for those questions and companies are obviously hiring uh, interns and job openings are there. So you guys must prepare with all these questions. Uh, till then, stay safe, stay happy. Thank you.